Hi, hello my dear friends. This is your buddy Stable. How are you guys doing? So today in this new video, I am gonna show you how you can pay your PSNL broadband or Bharat Fiber bill from your Android app itself. So without further ado, let's get started. So at first you guys were required to install my BSNL app from Play Store. So just note it down. This is that my BSNL app which you have to install it from Play Store. So after that app was successfully installed on your mobile, open that my BSNL app. So initially if you have not registered, uh, first you have to register. For that you have to click this particular option where it says no, not a member then you have to register now so I am clicking this so here you have to give all those basic details like your first name last name and most importantly the mobile number which you have given to your service provider or the mobile number through which you have got this connection and your email address and obviously the home circle uh, from where you have got the connection and uh, then you have to give your password create some uh, password and after that um, you will be receiving a, a OTP on your mobile number and after clicking that OTP click next and you are successfully registered so after you guys have successfully registered then you go you have to come back to the home page and uh, type in the email address or mobile number and uh, give the password and then press login so guys i have now successfully logged into my by bsnl app so as soon as i log in it is like uh, in the home page it should display your uh, name your mobile number and email id so for paying the bill what you have to do is you have to click that uh pre dash icons on the top left side and uh, therein you can see the option bill pay right below home button click that one so as soon as you click bill pay you should be able to see your broadband connection or uh, your fiber connection automatically get listed over here if not what you have to do is that you have to select the plus button on the right top side so now in order to add a new connection you just select your landline or Bharat fiber connection whichever applicable then you have to type in the std code so normally uh, for a new connection uh, you will be provided with the landline number which contains your uh, areas std code along with um, it's like a six digit suffix so you have to type in the std code for example it may be 055 or 066 or 044 something like that remove that zero and uh, just type the remaining std code and then you have to give your uh, phone number i mean it is like the remaining six digits which the service provider has given to you and then click submit so now you can see that your landline connection is successfully added click that landline connection now and you will be redirected to this page which uh, will show you your phone number and build amount so herein you can see two options pay and view bill and pay so you can just you can click view bill and pay to get a detailed uh, breakup of the bill uh, or you can just simply click pay button and this will redirect you to the uh, different mode of payments available so now after I have click pay option I can I am presented with a lot of modes it's good that they have also added UPA that that's really good and you also have you can also pay via internet banking credit card debit card or whatsoever so in my case i wish to dislike pay via internet banking so i click internet banking and uh, select the appropriate bank so for example in my case i am gonna select hdfc bank so after i have selected uh, it's like whatever your bank of choice it will be asking me to it will be redirecting me to the select payment gateway 
and uh, we have to type the number listed over here and then click continue to payment so after you click continue for payment it will redirect you to your bank of choice and you have to follow the normal procedure like you have to give your username and credentials and uh, give your otp and tada it's done and in case of upi you give your upi id or upi number and uh, pay via whatever upi app you are using so guys we can see that the payment is finally successful and uh, one more thing while the payment is going through don't press the back or refresh button as it may cancel the transaction so yep we are done with the job so guys uh, sometimes you may not find the payment reflecting immediately on your bsnl app that's okay don't panic uh, it will take some time so don't uh, attempt repaying again so guys hope you ha have enjoyed this video if so please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to stable thank you